Hello everybody, this is Captain Jirwa bringing you another Pokemon Online battle. Uh, this time is with that RU team I made like a couple days ago. Basically I wanted to use Flare Boost, Drift Blim, and Leafeon, kind of. I added it on later, but yeah. Anyway though, I've got like a specially defensive Rapid Spin, Foresight, Hitmonchan, Flare Boost, Drift Blim, Standard Nido Queen, Sub SD, Bulky, Leafeon, Kind of a bulky, modest, spe max special attack, Mesprit, and Scarf Archeops. And my opponent, the two main th uh, threats on his team are that Dredagon and that Durant, because Dragon and Steel types are not very common in RU, and when you see them, they are actually pretty dangerous, and I don't have anything to take a Dragon move or a Steel move, really. So, yeah, anyway, though, let's just get right on with his battle. Alright, so I'm just going to decide to lead right off from Nidoqueen, because Nidoqueen's always a great lead. It threatens basically everything because of its coverage, and it's powerful, and decently fast, so yeah. He leads off with Rotom, I'm like, yeah, there's no reason for me not to go for a Sludge Wave and just try to take him out, and he tricks me a Scarf. Now you might think, well, he just wasted his Rotom, but Nidoqueen being locked into one move is actually pretty good for him, because Nidoqueen thrives off of having, like, really good coverage. And I don't know why I stayed in Sludge Wave there. I should have just switched out right to Leafeon. But fortunately, he's not Shell Smash. If he was, I probably would have been in trouble. But actually, I could probably outspeed him with Archeops. But Earthquake might not have killed. But I send in Leafeon and try to set up for some reason, even though he has a Durant and a Drudagon, which is really stupid. And I just stay in and I should have just gone right into Nido Queen on the X Scissor. And, and just switched out when I had a substitute because then I could bring it in and fire blast him because I was scarfed but no he predicts my switch because it was really obvious and yeah so I just go into scarf Archeops I know I can outspeed him and since I'm adamant scarfed Archeops I basically outspeed almost the entire tier and hit everything really hard because Archeops is just so powerful Anyway, he brings an Absol. The Sucker Punch is obvious. I'm just going to go into my Dark type counter, my bulky Hitmonchan. As you can see, this is not a uh, typical Hitmonchan moveset. And I'm going to Toxic the Slow King because I thought he was going to be bulky. But as you can see there, uh, he is Choice Specs and has the Psy Shock. But that's okay because I have a Mesprit. And Mesprit can take Shy Shock, Shy, Shy Shocks really well. And I can just U turn. And he goes into Absol. So I'm like, thanks, buddy. You just gave me advantage and like 63%. Look at jeez. That's actually pretty good damage for a U turn. But going to Leafeon, just set up a sub because I thought he might sucker punch. But it turns out he has Fire Blast. It's actually pretty typical on Absol for Tangrowth. And Leafeon is kind of similar to Tangrowth. And it's their bulky, physically bulky grass type. And I don't know why. I was freaking trying to set up Swords Dances on Zdredagon. I should have just switched right out to Mesprit because I think he's banned to Drudagon, so uh, I go over right into Mesprit because I just want to basically hit him with a Psychic to get him pretty weak, and then after I do that, I want to go into my Drift Blim because I can, at that range, I can finish him off with a Shadow Ball, and then I'll get my Flame Orb activated because this is a Flare Boost Drift Blim, which is, if you don't know, basically when you're burned, it's like having Choice Specs, but you can switch up moves, and brings an Absol, I'm like, okay, well he's gonna Sucker Punch, let's trick him the Flame Orb, but he doesn't, he's pretty smart, and no, as I predict Sucker Punches, because I tried to before, but it's not really that bad, because now he's burned, so I just go into Leafy on like, now he's gonna Sucker Punch, so I Swords Dance, I was like, well now he knows I'm just trying to burn stall him, so I'm gonna attack him, because he's not gonna Sucker Punch, which is great, and now he realizes that his last two Pokemon are Slow King and Omostar, which will both die to a plus two Leaf Blade. So we're just going to forfeit, and that'll be the match. So, Leafeon, the same set. Uh, I used this set in the battle where I was ranting about Viper and Leafeon. This is the same exact set. It's got like max HP, 180 defense EVs, and 102 speed, or however just the rest of the EVs and speed. So as you can see, it actually, can actually outspeed Absol, which is pretty nice. So yeah, anyway though, that that was a pretty short battle. I thought it was interesting. I'm probably going to try to use this team some more. Uh, I'm just trying to get this team to work because it's not your typical RU team and I do like the RUs a lot. So yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you enjoyed, please leave a comment. 
and I will see you guys later. Peace.